Hey everyone, it's Kong, and this is a quick look at how I'm building my Bernhardt. If you've watched my previous videos in this short series, you know this isn't a traditional how to build guide. I'm not going to go into detail about all the options you have for building burn. That's not really my style. Some people love to spend a ton of time theory crafting and optimizing and going over each possible option, and that's cool, I totally love that. But some people just want to have a quick peek to make sure they're on the right track. So I'm just going to go over the decisions I made when setting up my own burn. If you like them, awesome, go ahead and like this video. If not, also awesome. Let me know in the comments what you're doing differently, and definitely that might help someone else who would rather go your way than mine. The more options, the better. Especially for a character like this. So I'll start from the top. First, his skills. His 3C comes out in June, and it'll pretty much be the main reason to bring him along. It's his excellent Empire's Honor faction buff that also unlocks his full capabilities by giving a boost to whatever other skills you choose to bring along. Burn's versatility actually makes the next couple of skills a bit more difficult to lock down. It's not totally obvious loadout like other characters would be. So for two cost skills, the main options are Sword Dance, which gets plus one span from his 3C, Shield Bash, which gets plus one range, and his tanking skill, Iron Fist, which gets you 25% damage reduction. You can also use Hegemony, which doubles up with the passive Hegemony that's already in his 3C, and lets you remove two debuffs when entering combat. For his last one cost slot, Rupture gives him a little burst of fixed damage after attacking, and Sunshade gives him a chance to heal a bit after combat. So for burn, skill selection will obviously be situational depending on how pick and ban phase goes and what kind of opponent I'm up against, but in general I kind of like the idea of using hegemony and using burn to try to strip buffs. So next up we'll talk about class, and Bernhardt's classes are pretty straightforward. Brave is his bulkier class, and Emperor is his DPS class. The reason they're fairly straightforward is that they're both infantry, so you know you need to set aside some fighter stones. I'm running him in his Emperor class for as much attack as possible, and then trying to build bulk elsewhere, um, as you can kind of see from my AB stone rolls here. So next we'll look at his equipment, and his weapon choice depends again on what you want to do with him. As I mentioned, I'm planning to use him to try to strip buffs, so I'm going to try him out with Mjolnir, uh, use him as a single target attacker, and get an extra buff strip when he's attacking. So you can also use Mimir's War Axe for a kind of similar reason, or you can use Bloodsword Hunting. If you're going with the Sword Dance build, you'd want to give him a Balanced Blade to get a really huge AoE span. If you're sticking to PvE, or you just want to jack his stats even more, then you can definitely give him a Seal Guardian and protect some seals. For his armor, his unique Overlord's armor is generally a no-brainer, unless you have a specific exception, like using Arcane Battle Garb in Ancient Beckoning for extra fixed damage procs, something like that. He does have options for his headgear. Some people still like the Carbon Fiber Helm for him, Fury of Tear is of course excellent since you can spend a turn using his faction buff, which will then trigger the extra skill damage for his next turn. I've got a good well-rounded roll on this Aeneas Helm, I mean a good enough one that I'm not going to go out and buy more Breeze Scrolls just to use on this, there are other places for those right now. So I'm just going to stick with this as a stat booster for now. Finally, for accessories, you can use uh, Winged Shin Guards for bulk but I'm going to go with the old traditional Apex boots for more mobility. And combined with the plus one move that you get from his three cost skill, this actually makes him a pretty speedy little dude. Especially if he procs Breeze, so I do want to talk a little bit about his enchants. There's a pretty even split between people using Breeze and Full Moon, and the advantages of each are pretty obvious. Breeze can give him even more mobility, and Full Moon stats can make him a Hulk. I'm gonna go with Breeze, which might seem like overkill with the boots, but I'm hoping to see if he'll fit into my preferred playstyle this season. 
I tend to like slower tank push strategy that also has the ability to jump into the action, for example with Tiny Jess teleports. So having Burn able to open up and join in when necessary could be really helpful. We'll see if that actually ends up working in practice. Hopefully. <laughs> Next up we have Soldiers, and it's really hard to go wrong with his new Steel Mane Werewolves. There is best troops now for basically, basically anything. He also has access to Guardian Infantry if there's a specific reason you need to use those, but the fun thing about his Werewolves is that their Magic Void tech will always be active for a permanent 20% attack and defense boost since Burn's Talent Aura counts as a debuff now. So that's some demon tech for you to build up for these guys. And the final thing of course to look at is his appearance. I've got this sweet Apex commemorative skin here for maximum muscle, but all of his skins are pretty good because they all feature Burnheart in them. So yeah, overall uh, that's how I have my Burnheart set up. Fairly standard speedy striker build for now, but like I said, I'll want to get some playtesting in to see if it's a style that I ever actually need to use that often. If I find his uh, buff stripping isn't giving me as much value as I want, or if I find he's not getting as much actual use out of Breeze, then I can easily switch some things up and go in a different direction. Like Will, I do really like tanky DPS units, so falling back to a full moon bulk build uh, is something that could be very tempting and very easy for me. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful for someone who just wants to duck in and take a quick look at what's going on, and make sure they have a kind of a rough rundown of what to set aside for a basic Burnheart. If you have any questions about anything that I didn't mention, or if you have any wildly different ideas or opinions about how to build him, definitely leave a comment. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful, and hopefully you're all just as excited about his upcoming 3C skill finally unlocking his full potential as I am. I know I'm excited about it. So thanks for watching everyone, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy Langrissing everyone!